New in version 18, PLS CAD brings you the ability to move span labels in the Sheets view. This video will cover the new span label features as well as highlight the corresponding structure label features. We will begin by opening the demo.xyz project that ships with the software. This model can be found in the following location. The span length text position and structure text position menu commands only work in the Sheets View tab. If you don't see a Sheets View tab, you can navigate to Window, New Window, Sheets View to generate one. Press the Home key to zoom into the first page of the Sheets View. Now, navigate to the new menu command, Drafting, Span Length Text Position. Here you'll see we have the option to move, reset for one label, or reset all span length labels. These are the same options as you have in the Drafting Structure Text Position menu command. To move a span length, select Drafting, Span Length Text Position, Move. Then move your cursor over to the span length label you wish to move. The span length closest to your mouse will become highlighted. Now left click and drag it to the new location. When you're satisfied with its position, release the mouse click and your span label will now be associated with the location you've moved it to. You can continue moving span labels with the command active and when you are done, Use the escape key on your keyboard or the right click on your mouse to exit this command. The structure text position command works the same way. When the structure text is highlighted, click and drag it to the new location. You can move as many structure labels as you want while the command is active. Again, use the escape key on your keyboard or the right click on your mouse to exit the command. Say you moved a span or structure label by accident. To reset only one of the span label moves you made, navigate to Drafting, Span Length Text Position, Reset. And again, you'll notice the span length label closest to your mouse will highlight. Left click and release to reset the span length text position of the highlighted label. Right click on your mouse or press the escape key on the keyboard to exit the command. You can do the same thing with the Drafting Structure Text Position Reset menu command. Moving the span length text is a feature that will prevent older versions of the software from being able to open your model, so it is possible you may need to reset all of the span labels before you create your backup. If this is the case, navigate to Drafting, Span Length Text Position, Reset All to move every span length label back to its default position. If there is ever a reason you want to reset the Structure Text Position, you can use the Drafting Structure Text Position Reset All command to achieve the same goal. Please note that moving the structure text position is backward compatible with nearly all of previous versions. Resetting all of the structure text positions is not something you need to do, but it may be something you want to do. The span length text feature also comes with the option to turn off a specific ahead span label display. As I'm sure you guessed, this mimics the same feature previously available with the structure text position. To use either of these features, start by pressing the S key on your keyboard to make sure Structure Center is selected in your Snap settings. Now find the Span Label display you want to turn off and go to its back structure. You may need to turn on the Stringing Direction in the Drafting Show Stringing Direction menu command. With the Stringing Direction turned on, 
you can easily tell which structure is the head structure and which one is the back based on the direction of the stringing arrow. Once you've located the back structure, left click and select Toggle a Head Span Label Display. Unlike the other text position features, this command works in both the Sheets view and the Profile view. To turn the label back on, simply left click on the back structure and select the Toggle a Head Span Label Display command again. You'll notice this command is turned on when a check mark appears. The Structure Label command works in the same way. Left click on the structure and choose the option Structure Label Toggle Display. When the check mark is present, the structure label will be displayed. If there is no check mark, the structure label will not be displayed. If you would like more information about our software, please visit our website at www.powerlinesystems.com or send an email to info at powline.com. To receive a quote for purchase or renewal of your license, send an email to sales at powline.com and for any technical inquiries, please reach out to support at powline.com. Thank you for watching this video and for your interest in our software, the industry standard for overhead line design.